Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me, and welcome back to Scum, where I'm taking a poop. Anyway guys, so there's been an update, today is September 28th, 2018, and while he wipes himself and smells his fingers, we're going to get in on it and let you know. So there's some things that have happened in the game, they add some, added some things, they put, added an improvised handgun, they've added an improvised shotgun, they added some torches, they added a mask, and today's the day that the Golden Eagle is no longer being pooped out by us. I went ahead and took a poop. This is a brand new character. And I got uh, spaghetti with meatballs. That's what I got. I got spaghetti with meatballs. And um, and so I did not get a golden deagle. I had to test it. It's no longer being pooped out by your characters. But, but it is in the game. They decided to keep it in the game so that we can have the golden eagle. Um, it is the rarest item in the game. So if you find it, consider yourself lucky. Hide it in a box. So you pull it out, somebody's going to try to kill you and steal it. Uh, but then again, for a while, everybody's going to have one, right? So if you didn't get it, well, you still have a chance to find it in-game. So there you go. All right, guys, so I spawned in a whole bunch of stuff because this is my single-player game, and I thought, let's make everything that they put in the game right now. So with your basic, uh, craft, your basic survival crafting skill, you're going to be able to make an improvised handgun. With the medium survival skill, you're going to be able to make your improvised shotgun. I don't know about the improvised mask. I assume that it's going to be uh, medium, I mean low, basic, because along with the, uh, the, the bear items, it should be the same with the improvised mask and like the improvised water container or whatever. They also put in some standing torches so we can, uh, we can light our camps up because it's freaking dark around, you know, and candles were all well and good, but these standing torches might be better, I think. I, they, they didn't add the, they didn't put those in the patch notes, but those are a thing. So your vegetable oil that you're finding in the in the game, that's going to be for your advanced standing torch. But for a regular standing torch, all you need is just a rag and a long wooden stick. But I mean, if I go over this way, I just cut down a bush. Where'd it go? Right here. That's where I cut it down. So I can make all of these. We can make uh, the standing torch. Let's make that. And then we'll make the uh, advanced standing torch as well, and we'll see what kind of lighting. It's not You're not going to be able to tell, uh, because I don't know whether or not I can change the time of day. If somebody could tell me in the comment section below. Um, okay, there's a standing torch right there. That's kind of cool. And let's make the advanced standing torch right next to it. What do you say? Let's make the advanced standing torch, which takes a long wooden stick, one scrap metal, and one vegetable oil. We're going to make that right now, because I've got it. We might make a couple of them, actually. I actually want to make the guns before I make too many of these, though, because I'm, I'm not really sure what I'm not really sure what it's going to take to make these guns. So, um, yeah, man. All right. Well, they, that looks that looks um, okay. I guess. I guess we can try to light this, huh? We'll light this up. Let's uh, let's go to inventory. Go to standing torch, which is okay. Okay. We click on that. Click on my lighter. And we will light that fire. Okay. Well, that's cool, I guess. Yeah. If it gives us some light, we'll know it when it gets dark. If it if it if it um gives some decent light, we won't really know until it gets dark. But tell me in the comment section below what you think about the standing torches. I'm curious to see what you think. Click on that. Right click and go light fire. I think this one's considerably stronger in the lighting. Side of things it looked like it, br it brightened up a lot more so that's cool i don't know how long these are going to last but we're going to leave them we're going to leave them lit for now uh you know what for for paths or 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 you know markers or whatever else it's fairly cheap all it takes, it takes is a long stick and a rag and all you need is some sort of lighting you can i'm sure you can use you could probably use flint and steel i'm sure you can use uh the the improvised lighting you know what let's just un let's undo this right quick let's turn off Oh, you can't unlight it? Can you not unlight this? Oh, wow. You can't put this out? I guess you have to uncraft it, huh? All right, can I make another one? Let's make another one. And let me see if we'll make a, just a regular standing torch here. Let me make a fire drill right quick. Let me see if I can light this with my fire drill. If so, it makes it really super cheap to be able to light paths and whatnot. Uh, signal fires or whatnot. This, I don't know how far away you're going to be able to see this, but... I'm assuming it's going to be quite a ways. Let's take this right here. I don't think I need it on my person, but let's go ahead and put the do it like that. Like that. I think this is the one right here. 
light the fire. I guess we can light it with the, uh, I don't want to, don't do that. All right. So I guess we can light it with the, uh, with the fire drill, guys. That's super cheap to make a signal for somebody to know where you're at. I don't know where you're at. Let me light you a fire real quick. That's really good. I like that a lot. I don't know how long they're going to burn, but we're going to do this video, and then hopefully they'll still be burning when we're done. All right, so next on the list, guys, is we have the... I can make the improvised handgun, so let's do that. It's going to take one duct tape, one bolt, one long wooden stick, a metal scrap, and a stone axe. But it looks like you're going to be able to use any of your cutting tools for this. Um, you're going to be, use, be able to use any of the scrap, a long wooden stick, or a short wooden stick. Either a long one or a small one. You can use a wooden plank. You can use a wooden log. Uh, you can use, yeah, this is good. This is good. There's any of the, the wood you can use, any of the metal you can use, any of the cutting stuff you can use. The bolts, you can use bolts, or you can use nails to make this gun. So you, you just need a firing mechanism. And you can use duct tape, or you can use rubber bands. A rubber band gun. That's funny. All right, well, let's go ahead and craft this gun, and let's see what we get. It takes 50 caliber ammunition like your Deagle did. So... I think it's a one-shot deal, and there's no click to it, so it's going to be a one-shot unit, which I'm not sure I really care about because, you know, one-shot, I mean, if a headshot might be good, might be fine. Let's go ahead and see. I'm going to put this in my hands. We're probably going to we're probably gonna attract some attention right quick. Uh, I don't, I'm, I'm kind of hoping I will. Let's go ahead. Okay, I don't have any of my ammo. Hang on. I don't have any of my ammo opened up yet so let's open this up unpack this ammo and now i should be able to reload this all right so the reload ammunition reload uh animation is is you know however long one it's a one shot one shot deal one shot deal guys look at that that's pretty cool though i'm probably going to attract attention i was kind of hoping i'd get a zombie but it is a 50 cal, so that's not bad. And how many slots does it hold? How many slots does it take in your... Is it four? Looks like it might be four. Hang on, let me put this down. Can I put it here? I can't put it here. I didn't think I was going to be able to. Let's drop this vegetable oil right quick. And see if it's a four. Is it four? Yeah, okay, so it's, it's any like a regular, a regular gun. It's going to take up four slots in your backpack, which is cool. Let's put it in the quick access right quick. And let's make the, let's make the, okay, is it starting to get dark? No, it's starting to get overcast. Um, you know, I don't know that this torch is that much brighter than these guys. Well, okay. Anyway, so what do I need for my, the big one? We need the, for the shotgun, we need duct tape or rubber bands. We need bolts or nails. And that's one of each, right? Two rubber bands, by the way, guys. Just so you know, um, any of the any of the wood stuff, logs or planks, and any of the metals, two metal scrap of any kind, and any cutting tool. So let's go ahead and chop down this tree. All right, I should be able to make it now. I can. Let's just go ahead and craft it right off the bat. I don't know what it's going to make it made out of. It doesn't really matter. So really, if this is a two, it might, it's probably going to be a one-shot unit. I don't think it's going to be a, more than more than that. I don't. It might be a double barrel, but I don't think so. I think it's going to be a single barrel shotgun. Although if they made a double barrel shotgun, that'd be sweet. And I don't know if I have any. Oh, I do have shotgun shells. Let's unpack those. All right, and then let's grab this sucker right here. Can I put this? Can I put this? Just put that down. In here. Yes, I can. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and. See what we get here. Reload it. Looks like a single shot. Yep, single shot shotgun, guys. But I guarantee you, how fast is it gonna take to reload? All uh, right, it's not great, but it's a shotgun. And if you know anything, I mean, it takes one one shot to kill a puppet. So. I, I say we we get our mask working and then we're gonna go out and test these guys. What do you say? All right, let's get this mask working right quick. Hopefully, I was hoping for a puppet, man. But I guess I don't have any company. All right, let's go ahead and let's make this mask. We need for the mask. I need rope. I need um, two magnifying uh, lenses, which you know the magnifying glasses you were you you were 
wondering what we were gonna do with them, you're making you're making goggle masks, man. Those are for the eye holes. So we got that. You can either use the magnifying glasses or you can use the improvised magnifying glasses from when you break down your your um, your camera lenses. So and you, I don't know why it says you need a baseball bat with barbed wire. Oh, you have to smash it open. I see crowbar work. Hey, what's up? I hear you. Where are you? Where are you? Can I kill a robot? Hey, can I kill you, dude? I can kill you. Oh, that's great. You kill those robots with your improvised shotgun. Now you need a medium survival skill to make this. Remember, so you can start with the pistol and I, well, you know what? Let's check out our, okay. It looks like I did. I got 10 points from that, that handgun from that shot. But I, I got a lot from that rifle shot because I, I killed that robot. So, I mean, it gave me a lot of XP in my rifles for killing a robot. So every time that robot shows up, have your shotgun ready and just kill it. And, and you get you get to your next level pretty quickly. So, yeah. All right, anyway, the mask. The mask. Let's go ahead and craft ourselves some rope. Because it says that we need some rope for this. In fact, it says I need two ropes, so can I make another one? I can't make another one. I will be able to, though. In just a second. Let's bust these sticks down right quick. Long wooden sticks into short wooden sticks. Okay, where's my, where's my hatchet? There it is. Let's go ahead and let's make short wooden sticks out of the, out of the long wooden sticks. There we go. And then I'll be able to make another rope. One more rope, and that should give me what I need for this mask. Yeah, all right. So this mask is gonna take one animal skin. There's no alternative. You have to have the animal skin. You need rope of varying, or rope wire or thread, it looks like. You're gonna need either the magnifying glasses or you're gonna need two improvised magnifying lenses. Any of your cutting tools and a bone needle a regular needle or a sewing kit one of those three so we're gonna go ahead and craft this stuff here. i want to see what this looks like and can i wear it underneath my helmet i don't think so i don't i don't know why you wouldn't be able to but i don't think you can oh you can oh dude all right i'm gonna take a poop so we can see what i look like oh man come on look at me look at me dude are you serious? I really wish you could look in first person. You could turn around and look at yourself, guys. All right, I'm going to have to, I guess we're going to have to um, do this. All right, well, you really can't see very much with this with this mask on, but it didn't look bad. It looks pretty good. I mean, it definitely hides your, your features. I mean, it still shows you your skin color, but it doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look that bad at all. All right, and they say that you, they actually put in taunts in the game now, so it's good. Oh, look at this, forearm jerk. Can I turn around? You can't, I still can't do that, man. I really wish you would be able to do that. You can give somebody the finger. Yeah, yeah. And let's see, what else we got? Um, the threat, which is across the throat. Not being able to see my character's face is a pain in the butt. Wave, how you doing? I'm friendly. Don't kill me. And what else we got? Surrender. I'm 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 done, man. I'm done. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. All right. How long is that gonna last? Does that last? Okay. Until I move. Wait. Hang on. And then of course the point. But we're gonna test out the. It's over there, man. It's over there. So are are we gonna be? Will my hand stay up if I don't move? Or is it is it timed? I wonder. That's a good long time. It's a good long time. Looks like, wait a minute, hold on. Looks like if you don't move, your hands stay up. That's super helpful. Now, can I, can I, can I do this? Hang on. Oh, wait, wait where's my, all right, so my, so when your hands are up, you can't, you cannot access your, 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 your firearms. So when you move, I guess, once you put it down, Hang on a second, what's going on here? All of a sudden I can't get into my things? Do I have to unequip them and re-equip them? I think I do. 
I do. You have to unequip and re-equip stuff. Once you surrender, you have to unequip and re-equip items before it's going to let you before it's going to let you um, use them again. So you can see down at the bottom in the in the toolbar, you can see my my spear and my shotgun are, are equipped in my one and two two. There's one. There's two. But if I go and I and I surrender. Oh no, it should be. It, oh no, it won't let me. It's not letting me. So, and then if I do this, can I, okay, now I, so, okay, so if you move, it's going to let you. I don't know why it wasn't in my toolbar to begin with. That would have been a glitch. But okay, guys, you know, if you be careful when you surrender. If you're not moving, if you start to move, they're going to shoot you. But, they, but that's good to know that you can't use your, you can't use your equipment if you put your hands up. That's actually pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and go find some puppets and let's see what kind of damage we can do with these weapons. All righty, guys, here we go. You ready for this? Hey, boy. What's up, dude? Well, that was easy. Let's see if his friend shows up. I got a pistol in my pocket. There's another one coming right here. Oh, he's got it. Do you have a helmet on? I don't know, man. Oh, I missed him. Shit. Go, 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 go. Reload. Reload, homie. Let's reload on my shotgun, too. While we're at it. Oh! Go, 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 go! Alright. I won't... I got, get, stop doing that, man. There we go. Let's go and get a pistol out. I want to see if I can kill him with a pistol. I don't know if we're going to be able to... Uh-uh, it didn't look like it. I don't mean maybe, but I, it's, you, got, you got too close. Maybe not. Yep, one shot will kill him to the head. Then again, a bullet to the head will kill anybody, right? All right, well, that's cool. Also, guys, I uh, just read this in the patch notes. They have taken crafting bullets, and they've, they've stopped the, uh, the whole uh, handgun and rifle leveling system, and they've moved all of that into the survival system. So when you're going to cra if you're going to craft, whoop, if you're going to craft, put this away, dude. If you're going to craft bullets, it looks like you're going to be able to craft them depending on your survival skill. So it's no longer your handgun skill or your rifle skill. Because my rifle skill is at uh, 22 out of 10,000 and my handgun skill is 3% out of 10,000. And I shouldn't be able to craft all these bullets, but my, but my survival skill is way up there, so... I'm able to craft the uh, the bullet, so I'm I'm 8,500 out of 10,000. So now it makes more sense to raise your survival skill if you want to make bullets. So you're going to get less fame points, but you're going to be able er, from every action. But you're still going to be able to craft the bullets that you need to survive. So it's it, that's a that there that's the the ultimate question. That's the ultimate uh, that's the ultimate decision, isn't it? Well, I tell you what, guys. I think if I had my rathers, I would. I might want to increase my my survival skill up to medium, so I can craft both the handgun and the shotgun right off the bat. Um, shotgun ammo, you still can't craft it, so that's that's a thing. You can't craft the shotgun ammo, so you know the handgun itself is is definitely worth having. But your, your basic is going to give you that. You know your your medium survival skill is going to give you the shotgun. So it's up to you, I guess, you know, I mean, use your best discretion, I suppose. But as for me, you know, it's a question of which is more important, being able to craft bullets or being able to make the fame points I need to be able to respawn where I want. Also, guys, with heat stroke and hyperthermia, uh, heat stroke was not causing a coma correctly. So you, you should have gone into a coma from heat stroke. But and now you should go into 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 a coma if you get heat stroke and hyperthermia. Uh, you can decrease your temperature by stripping your clothes off. You couldn't do that before, but now you can. So that's going to be a lot easier for you guys to get your, your temperature down. All you big boys out there, all you big boys and girls out there that uh, weren't able to do that before, you can do that now. So actually, I am dropping. I need to go ahead and bandage because I do not have a bandage.
So hey guys, and as I always say, I am my usual me, you be your usual you. If you like the video, give it us a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. Alright guys, we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.